as South Africa, we reiterate our call on all parties to commit to an immediate ceasefire and to work towards a peaceful settlement leading to the internationally recognized two-state solution. For all, for us, what's going on in, in Gaza right now is a tragedy. And, and I think enough is enough. And we need to look at what other kind of initiative we can take, not only as a country, but as an international community, to really stop this tragic situation. South Africa could have a woman president, and it could happen any time. Speaking on the eve of Women's Day celebrations, President Jacob Zuma said it was just a matter of time. Zuma made the comments during a state visit by Chile's President Michelle Bachelet to South Africa. A woman president, a topic that's been debated at many gatherings across the country, the Women's League caught at controversy when it said South Africa wasn't ready for a woman to take the helm. But President Zuma is open to the idea. We can't be democratic on every other thing except women. And I think it's just a matter of time. I actually don't think it is very far away. <clears throat> South Africa is ready for a woman president. President Bachelet says empowering women is the right thing to do. Women are powerful actors of social development. They are powerful actors of their communities. I will say to invest in women, and when I say investing, I mean socially, economically, and politically. President Zuma and his counterpart, President Michel Bachelet, both agree that the two countries have to enhance relations between them and to make sure that they support each other as South-to-South -South countries. The two will explore cooperation in areas like energy and defense and science and technology, amongst others. Chile has expressed an interest in South Africa's master energy plan, and we have agreed that dialogue between the relevant ministries should take place to discuss our cooperation. On foreign issues, both countries agreed to find a common position in relation to the reform of multilateral institutions. We need to reform uh, a lot of institutions like the Security Council, but also financial institutions that will really permit that the world goes uh, and, and, and works in a way that is fair. The two countries will embark on scholarship programs in various fields. Later in the afternoon, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa also paid a courtesy visit to President Michel Bachelet. SABC News, Union Building, Pretoria.